language access, budget reform, health care reform, and immigration reform. Please help me welcome folks of you. We have all already paid our price in cuts. Now is the time for revenues and reform. We are calling on the legislature to choose our communities over corporate interests, to choose our children's future and our health over political compromises. We must restore programs vital to the immigrant community such as how works and budget. We need everyone, especially the wealthy and corporations, to pay their fair share in taxes. We need a just and fair California, a state for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Oak Suk Yoon and the Korean Resource Center of Los Angeles. California's well-being and our prosperity is in danger. The budget crisis came in this year with a staggering $25 billion deficit. As a result of the ongoing budget crisis, Californians have suffered 
$22 billion in brutal spending cuts to critical health care and human service programs over the last three years. This includes $6 billion in steep cuts back in March, hurting the most vulnerable families of our state, including our immigrant families. Governor Brown's May Rewise offers a path to fiscal responsibility. This proposal to extend existing revenue streams provides a track to recovery for struggling families, seniors, kids, and people with disabilities. Each and every one of you should have this postcard in your packet. Please take it out right now and sign it and get your friends and family to sign these postcards. We will be collecting them today to gather, to hand deliver to the governor supporting revenue solutions for our budget crisis. So please join us in filling out these important postcards which will send a message to the governor of the state of California and to the key legislative leaders that we desperately need a solution to the state budget crisis. How many of you took a bus ride up from Southern California last night? How many of you took car loads and, and carpooled up from the San Francisco Bay Area? I'm from the Central Valley of California. We have people from all over the state of California. When you look around at this audience, when you look around at this rally, you see the hope and future of the state of California. We have an opportunity today to make a difference with your voices, with your visits, with your ability to share your stories to the people who are responsible for the future of the state of California and the building behind me. This is our state, this is our capital, and your voices are very important to demand the future of immigrants, to demand the future of working people are respected in the state of California. So I want to encourage you all to take good opportunities, take good use of the time this afternoon Because I don't feel like learning. I'm learning nothing. Oh yeah. And she, what's she saying? Uh, she's. I think she's getting her. Say hi. Hey. 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 Take a stand. If there's any other faith leaders out there who would like to stand up here and be visible and present, we'd like to invite you. So you can all give a stand, stand up. We'll give you that. We want to thank these leaders for taking the time to be here today and also for their leadership in the community this last year and for the years to come. Several of them will be praying with us today in their own traditions. And so today we get to experience a bit of many of the different traditions uh, to deepen our, deepen our hearts and to deepen our commitment. One last logistical piece, Sarah and Julie, we will be having a time of collective prayer at the end. Sylvia, are you there? They're going to pass out small pieces of paper. If you have a prayer request, please write it down. Al final vamos a tener una oración en grupo. Van a pasar unos papelitos y si tienen alguna oración, algo que quieren pedir al, al creador, por favor escríbanlo en la oración, en el papelito y lo vamos a orar juntos. In whatever language, en el idioma que sea. And we will pray for these at the end of our service today. Y al final del servicio, nuestras oraciones van a incluir eso que ustedes desean. So we'll, we'll collect them in this basket. You'll see them coming around to collect. Van a venir con estas estas
and we pray that they will do good and, and uh, with the new laws. Le pido a Dios ahora por el entendimiento a los congresistas para apoyar el Dream Act. Señor, que tú puedas abrir las puertas para esta juventud, para la juventud. Que no haya separaciones de familia, porque es la base de la sociedad. I ask that, that more people will be blessed with the Dream Act. Students, fight for our dreams to come to pass. Todos juntos, oh Dios de gracia, escucha nuestra oración. God of grace, hear our prayer. Vamos a orar por todas estas oraciones. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all these prayers that have been given from people. People who come. What do we make? Gracias. Vamos a presentarles un teatro pero que lleva la esencia de las trabajadoras del hogar. jumping out, not being able to finish college because they're not financially able to. I see my friends being accepted to prestigious schools like UC Berkeley and UCLA, but turning them down because they're not financially able to go there and study there. This is why it's so important that we have the California Dream Act and we pass and get, up, get it out of the assembly floor. We are here today all we want is to have California immigrants. Uh, I think one of the values of California immigrants is uh, how hard working, hard working they are, and also they are very uh, they value just family, right? And I think we see California as a family, right? As part of our home. We therefore are very committed to bettering California uh, economy and California society. Is there a particular story of an immigrant that you know that you value? I think, well, I, I think there's many, right? Like I would say my family, my, my parents are uh, domestic workers, and also my dad works uh, in the construction uh, industry. So we, we get up really early at 5 a.m., uh, 6 a.m. in the morning to go to work, go clean houses around the neighborhood or outside of the neighborhood. Uh, just to provide for me and my sister, right? They uh, both helped us get through college. I'm already finishing my grad school, my graduate degree, and uh, my sister is uh, in uh, a four-year university. And it's based on the sacrifice and work. Thank you so much. Can you please tell me your name and the organization you're coming from once again? Carlos Amador. I'm from Junta Los Angeles. Thank you so much. All right.